Ah, it's raining outside again, like always. By the way, I just released a new trailer for well, Dragon Age. I forgot the name already, but it's a bad omen for the future of Mass Effect games because of how comically it's written. I'm suffocating myself with chicken breast at the moment for the summer that never comes here to Austria because it's raining every day. I'm in a bad mood and only one thing to lighten it. Some good Mass Effect games because we will all have to realize this franchise is gonna be the peak and it's a downward slide. Okay enough drama, let's get into some good storytelling. Good Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Oh, I don't have time, I believe. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy. And the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I remember when. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. Mm. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll do sure. everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Oh, uh, man. Oh, I'm guessing it won't be on Ilya's then. I'm only gonna do a side quest first, maybe. Safe. No, it is on Ilya's. That's probably some random location that no, has nothing to do with Ilya's. Anyways, in the golden age of the Brophians, Earth was world and world dotted with the snipers and our trained so magnificent cerebral. See this. That's enough. My reading stamina, that's all I got. They actually rolled out a different cutscene. A bit more I got for relay. Huh. Gaff ships. Figures. Gonna be Ah, <gasps> uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. I have new armors for Garrus and Caden. But well, I'm still gonna go with the girls' court. Uh, not all of them. <laughs> not all of the girls. Okay. Well, in the middle of a sentence. No, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I don't know if I can play as Okatano in Mass Effect 2. In the mods. Damn, what the hell is this audio? I'm gonna talk over it. So it's not as bad sounding. Good. You two, keep and moving it inside now! Oh, drop! Oh. Rocket bastard. 
We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos. My people once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here. But we didn't what? know it would feel so unwelcome. <laughs> that looks cool so I don't know what you say. Like the root have been here from Remnant. I wish I had more time to study all of this. We shouldn't be here. Not us. Not the Geth. Not Seren. We would have Miranda with us instead of Tali. We would all wear cat suits. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's time to turn the difficulty up again. Let's see, options, gameplay, hardcore, insanity. Let's try it for the fights. I'm holding on. I should do okay. It switches immediately. No, oh, it's not for you. It, uh, ah, bastard. Oh. Yeah. This game has so many open sidelines. I'm a Valor Mass Effect. Games are gonna be dead. Who to play with snipers? I don't believe I'm gonna go in or snipers for the next games. I never liked the infiltrator class. Oh, I know what else is good for sniping. Assassination. Overload. Overload. I oh, shouldn't stand out there in the open. I don't think singularity is gonna do anything. Same bro. Party? No, no. <laughs> actually, get Tali. So the aim was actually nice. There's someone behind me. Where? Actually, look back. Now. Must have launched somebody else's the map. No. Um. Off you go. Oh, he already went up. I saw it somewhere. Um. That doesn't screw me. Oh. Equalizer. So much oh. history here. So much to learn. I only hope I have the chance to come back someday. I don't think we will. I don't remember being on Alice again. Ah, uh, did we come back? And something else seems to have glitched. Also. You. Avalanche. I just got an executioner right now. I don't care. I don't know. Looking blind at the side. Oh, sneeze is coming. I'm gonna hold it back as always when I record. Sneezes, always sneezes. Any quick scopes? Oh, I don't know what it is. Hope it won't be that bad when I actually need to do bromos for wrestling. I'm just gonna sneeze all the time. Weird. Good. don't say he's so tight. Immediate heel turn. Right in the leg. It won't be an adventure anymore.
Now is not the time. Oops, that's the console. On the chill. I'm sorting back gifts. Very dot. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it in. Very big explosion on that. We're in the middle of a fight. Talk to me. Are you mad, girl? Something wrong? No? It's just chilling there. Feel me. I don't think I need anything anymore. I've looted it now. Damn, this planet is actually cool looking. It looks like a remnant planet. It's so like it's right out of war remnant too. Yaisha. Darker looking Yaisha. It was the last DLC. I didn't enjoy it as much as the Lossom DLC in the root brevi. Would be my favorite just because I like that sci fi planet. Style. Oh. What? I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos. It just run in circles. The whole game. The map design. We as hell. Oh god. Gotta be. I'm here. I'm guessing to my right it looked like it's a dead end. Damn it, Liara. Move that, I believe. Oh, yeah, it was fired up. Lots of rounds ricochet in. Walking the crossroads. Corbin. Every time I hear that name. Reminds me. Strength numbers want to find me. No, it reminds me of the Dwarfman Suck Frontier. It's just <laughs> right on top of me. Oh, get him. Get him. Damn it. Oh, I can't roll over that, I can. This seems weird. Shoot it. I should him out. Stupid bolt. That's the way forward. I don't want to look back though. Every bot needs to be killed. I'm gonna get up here. What is this door? No room. Elevator. Mm. Maybe it just takes me up. 
Yeah, that's see, I'll see. Makes sense. And uh, another little story is that is out for this sketch. That suit is at least working. Which is the Spectra Armor mode. Amazing. Sir Savant. Oops. It's not a servant. It's not a servant, Patrick. Oh my god, tungsten rams. I'm not pretty sure. Oh, so much already. Huh. Yeah, that's a big change. No, please. No. No. This should be recorded one day after the Dragon Age trailer arrived. Like. Um, five days afterwards or four days afterwards uploaded. Today is the 10th. I will re-record for the weekends. Because I get another four day shift on the weekend. Maybe wrestling beforehand. My here is slightly healed but we play off with which was well, it was swollen for two days and now it's okay -ish. i'm guessing tomorrow it will be fully this place still has power it must be running off its own generator this must be the command center for the entire complex saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside we will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker Yeah, the wish was so cool. Let's look at that. Ah, oh, isn't that screenshot models? Auto mode. Free. Orbit. Free. Yep, I don't really know how to use you. is from their material just because it looks badass just gotta find the screenshot folder then white player huh okay that's it different oh yeah film grain that's the good stuff I've heard I just don't Four. It's okay. I took to good photos. Hello, sir. Talk to me. That broken look like under the masks. Damn it. Resilient. Just in case. There we go. No, stay down. Ow. Oh, that just destroyed it. Great. Oh, badass. Did I hack something?
That's on my side. Turn on me, right? Upstairs. Music is good. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. You cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Not. What do with all those? Boots downstairs. I'm probably gonna have to fight them, don't I? Wait, it's still way up. To get down, or is it just loot up here? No, why to tell me? A oh, waste of time. Waste of company time. Look. This place is so good looking. Graphics-wise, style-wise, it's insane when you have an old game and developers actually put hard in it. Something amazing can come out. Some games just age good because of that. It's the visual art style and the detail is just well crafted. That's art. That's why Mona Lisa is aging like fine wine. An infinite, infamous knot. Too much AI generated. What can I say? Staring kind of at Liara. Hate her for having the same outfit, don't you? So Katana Shepard. God, I hope I can transfer her, but I don't think so. That's how I understood it. Okay, back in we go. I'm oh, still having that one sneeze loaded in my nose. Get into the maker. The <laughs> first thing I do is crash it. That's a cool loading picture. Nope. Not what I wanted. You know, wet clicking sounds. Huh. Funny if all she uses this. Pistols. Tardy, I mean. I have business. spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. 
Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy? I am sorry. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their t tomb. Oh. Oh. You're shooting me. Oh, goddammit. Shot me. Evasive maneuvers. That's what I call that. Right. Right, team. Ah, oh, next month. Seemingly there are some new games coming out to Let's Play. Anger Fort is something I've seen. The first Descendant, I believe. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Mm. Make adventures. God damn, Mako. Let's save again. Oh. Why do I have? I got them sneeze loaded up. My nose, every time I record, wasn't there beforehand. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. Still, elevator button. Elevator talk. No, just cool music. Very comfy. Ah, oh. Jesus, the sneezes. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. It is not. You know what it is. I don't know what it's called. Was it Nigel? <laughs> Something like that. Nalas? Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment. But that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. 
Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. 
One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Oh, sounds like they were blaming it all badly and wrong. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Ah, okay. Let's cut it here. And keep the rest of the dialogue for the next part. Bye.